The White House responds to today's impeachment hearing, saying Democrats are motivated by a sick hatred for the president. The administration says witnesses rely heavily on presumptions, assumptions, and opinions. President Trump is also pushing back against David Holmes' claim. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. Impeachment witness David Holmes said he overheard a phone conversation in which President Trump sought reassurance Ukraine would carry out an investigation into the Bidens. But President Trump says that's just not possible, and he can't believe the impeachment probe continues. President Trump tweets, I never in my wildest dreams thought my name would in any way be associated with the ugly word impeachment. The calls, transcripts, were perfect. There was nothing said that was wrong. No pressure on Ukraine. The president denies withholding a White House visit and security assistance to Ukraine in exchange for the country's pledge to investigate political rival Joe Biden. And let me tell you, it's a hoax, it's a disgrace, it's an embarrassment to our country. The president says the public transcript of his July 25th phone call with the president of Ukraine clears his name. Today, we heard more about a phone call that happened a day later. U.S. diplomat David Holmes says on July 26th, he was in a restaurant in Kiev with impeachment witness Ambassador Mr. Gordon Sondland. Sondland used his cell phone to call President Trump. Holmes says he could overhear the president ask if Ukraine's president would pursue investigations. So you heard President Trump ask Ambassador Sondland, is he going to do the investigation? Yes, sir. But President Trump says Holmes would not have been able to hear that. He tweets, I have been watching people making phone calls my entire life. My hearing is and has been great. Never have I been watching a person making a call which was not on a speakerphone and been able to hear or understand a conversation. I've even tried, but to no avail. Try it live. Holmes says the president was speaking very loudly to Sondland. When the president came on, he sort of winced and held the phone away from his ear like this. As for Sondland's response to President Trump's question about Ukraine's president carrying out investigations. He, he said, oh yeah, he's going to do it. Uh, he'll do anything you ask. Top White House officials and Republican lawmakers have reportedly agreed that the Senate should conduct a full trial if the House impeaches President Trump. That would give them an opportunity to share their side of the story rather than rush a vote. But either way, the Republican-controlled Senate is not expected to convict and remove President Trump from office. Wyatt. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.